What's up YouTube? This is Jason with JCS Reefing and welcome back to another video. In this one, we're going to go over how to make a DIY Apex switch box for your aquarium. Now first off, all you're going to need, you know, is some pretty basic things and they're actually really cheap. Um, I got a bunch of these switches um, on Amazon, I think for like $6 for, you know, a bunch of different colors. Um, but these are the three colors that I'm going to use. Um, I got this one as well. This switch is going to be actually, you know, a switch that's just going to shut down my entire tank. I got a four inch project box, a tape measure and a pink Sharpie because that's the only one I could find in the house and a step bit and a drill. Now, the first thing um, that I did is I found some cat five wire um, because it's real simple. Um, basically, this box is going to be wired to your um, apex switch box, uh, your apex breakout box, excuse me. And um, all you do is basically measure out the holes where you want the switches. Um, I pre-drilled some, um, but this is pretty much where my switches are going to go. And um, I only had a bit that went that big, which obviously you can see here isn't as big um, for the switch itself. So that's actually where the step bit comes in um, to basically make these holes bigger. And um, if you don't have a step bit, man, go pick one up because they're really handy to have. So as you can see, real simple, just drill the holes out in the project box um, to the size that are needed for the switches that you have. Um, and then basically screw the back nut back onto the switch once you slide it through. And that's all there is to it um, to put the switches into the box itself. Um, now this whole process is not complicated whatsoever. Um, you know, it, it probably took me a total of a half hour or so to make this. So um, I know you can purchase these online um, from some various, you know, sellers or whatever. And that's where I saw them. But I figured, you know, hell, this can't be that hard. So um, once you get the gist of it, how it works, it really is going to make some sense to you. So all I'm doing here is this actual trigle switch is going to be you know my switch that will shut down my entire tank for some reason i can just hit this and boom it'll shut off everything lights pumps skimmers uh, reactors anything the other three are going to be you know for feed mode or uh, let's say you just i don't know want to just shut certain things off um, you can just hit one of those and it'll tell your apex to do that now this toggle switch did have these tabs on it i had to break that off um, basically to put the back panel on so it would fit um, and i did want to you know try to keep this as you know sleek as possible so it actually works and since i'm going to be soldering the connections in um, to the switches itself i really didn't need those tabs um, sticking up i can just do it right onto the flat part of the switch as you'll see in a moment now what i'm going to do is basically take a ground um, and make a jumper so I ground all the switches all at once so all I did was take a piece of the cat5 cable or you know similar if you have cable laying around your house just try to get a thin wire because it makes everything a little easier um, and for the breakout box there's real no power so much it's more just a signal that's being sent through the wires so you don't need anything you know huge um, so basically yeah take a jumper um, strip it off, strip the casing off, and basically just loop it through each switch that you have. You know, I went through the first one, going through the second one, and when you're done, this is pretty much what it's going to look like. Now, I messed up a little bit. I made the jumper a hair too small to get to the last, um, let's just call it the oh shit switch, as uh, Mr. Saltwater Tank calls it. Um, so what I did is I just added another little piece of uh, wire and... This is actually gonna work good because I made it brown. Um, so, you know, that's gonna be my ground. So I know the brown wire is my ground wire. So that's all gonna connect all the switches together, which basically will make them all grounded um, or whatever the signal that the breakout box uses, but I figure it's a ground. So yeah, just uh, get some solder um, and solder a dab on each one of these connections. As you can see right here, I'm not the best uh, person to solder stuff but I mean hell it works so whatever so 
So the next step is to basically figure out what wires you want to use for each button. Um, so basically I have a yellow, a white, a blue, and I'm going to use the green wire for my oh shit switch. The switch that will shut everything down. Um, the only thing that I didn't videotape is I actually drilled a hole in the bottom of the project box to put the wire in and bought a like 8 cent or 15 cent rubber grommet from Home Depot. Um, so yeah, just take all your wires, slide them through, and starting from the left switch to the right, it's basically going to be yellow, and then the middle one is going to be white, the third one from the left is going to be blue, and the very last one, the oh switch, oh shit switch, is going to be your green wire. And the uh, brown one, of course, is your ground, which is going to be going to the jumper. So like I said, yellow, white, blue, and green. That's gonna way that you're gonna wire it. Um, obviously, if you have different colored wire, then you know just remember what wires go to what switch because you're gonna need that later. So get a pen and paper and write it down or take a mental picture or note or something. Just write it down, do something because you're gonna need it later. So yeah, just take your wires, loop it through. Like I said, the orange wire is gonna be uh, for the yellow switch. The white wire is gonna be for the white button and the blue one for the blue and the green is going to be for your last uh, like toggle switch the uh, oh shit switch so just you know loop all those through the hole and the last uh, step is to connect the ground um, I used a little piece of solder to kind of just loop it around that um, piece to get it to uh, just stay in place while I solder it now you can use some flux which actually works pretty good it helps the connection and uh, like I said don't don't take my soldering to heart because it's obviously not the best but it works it does the job and uh, as you can see this is what the finished product is your browns your ground orange is your yellow button white your white blue is your blue button and green is your oh shit switch so now everything is grounded everything is wired the last thing to do inside of it is basically just um, put the back on it and that's pretty much what it's gonna look like when it's done now I'm going to use the red toggle button, like I said in the beginning, to basically, if I'm not home, I can something's going wrong, I can, and I can't get to a computer to turn stuff off on my Apex, I can just tell my wife or someone in the house to run upstairs, hit that button, and it'll just shut the whole entire tank down. Now that is going to take some programming, so I will do the programming. Um, if you want, leave a comment below, and uh, I'll be happy to either help you out, or if you want to see a future video with that just leave a comment below and I'd be happy to go through that. So the very last uh, step is to connect it obviously to your breakout box and depending on what ports you have that are taken up um, you know this is going to be slightly different to you know whoever has a breakout box and what other switches you have. I have a couple or actually I only have one float switch in my ATO which tells me when it's low um, but your first step yeah connect your brown to your ground um, terminal and then connect your orange and so on and so forth. So when it's done, this is what it's going to pop up as. It's going to pop up as SW1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now I used uh, SW3, 4, 5, and 6. 6 being the oh shit switch, which is going to shut down the entire tank. Now all of these buttons can be programmed in various ways, so I'm not going to get into that in this video, but if you would like to see a video on that, please comment below, and I'd be happy to do another one and just some basic uh, programming on each switch. But this is the, basically the uh, DIY breakout box, so please let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe, and as always, happy reefing. Cheers.